is returning to the church. It's normality. It was such a thrill to, to hear these. And there, most of them, they can only give a few weeks of their life to this. Others are benefactors. They give as much money as they can because they don't charge wherever they go. And uh, it's quite beautiful to uh, see, you know, as everyone is saying, the church is going south. You, know, and you see this in Africa exuberant, needing training, needing, but exuberant. Men and women singing and dancing and praising God, being healed, being delivered. Lynn's been on two of these trips. It was just so beautiful to see. And to see, you know, normality coming back to the church and to be encouraged. We have a treasure. Now we have to have the wisdom and the courage to spread it. Here things are more complex because we begin with no sense of the transcendent. There, even when they're pagans, they have a sense of something greater than themselves that we don't have. Our Western culture has put a, a ceiling on that. And that's why we're in such trouble. So, it's what's going on here, you see. We, did, we didn't receive just the baptism of John, no, but uh, it's like that. We never heard there was a Holy Spirit. Tell me about it. There's the Holy Spirit. And then the sign is this joy and this awareness and the desire to praise God. And with that, you see healings, deliverances by the thousands by the thousands. It's very beautiful. And you can be sure that most of the bishops are thrilled to them. They invite them back. And uh, they were just in China. And these are regular Sunday offers. You know what I mean? Uh, they're lay people with families and, and they go. And in China, they were uh, in a house ministering and the word the neighbors sent word the police are coming. So they all went and hid in another house. But that could have been difficult. China is a right now uh, a very amazing place. State run church will let Roman Catholics come and teach in their seminary. A friend of mine does it all the time. But then two hundred miles away they're putting him in jail. It's uh, Wherever Satan can get his way, they go to jail. When he can't get his way, they're, they're teaching in the seminary. But this is beautiful. We should be encouraged, but also in the literal sense of encouraged. We have been given such a treasure. And so, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, they spoke in tongues and they prophesied. That's the sign of the Holy Spirit. You know, St. Thomas, in a part of the Soma, had to be put together from his writings because he died and he wouldn't finish the Soma. You know, he had such an experience of God. He said, everything I'm written is straw. I'm not going to write it anymore. And the brethren said, Thomas, finish, finish. He said, no. So they took his writings and finished it for him like this. But in his writings, talking about the, the uh, sacrament of confirmation. And every sacrament is matter and form, we call it, right? There's something, there's bread and wine, and then there's the words of institution. So the matter is the laying on of hands. Aquinas says, if the bishop is going to lay hands on them and they begin to pray in tongues, you can skip that because they already have the matter. Good old sober St. Thomas in the 13th century still got it. So let's pray for ourselves, for this Pentecost. This gift is coming to the church again. Let us pray and be filled with expectation. 
The Lord must help us. As things get more difficult, we need his help more and more. Paul says to everyone, Christian, is given a manifestation of the Spirit for a common real benefit. He also says, you all pray in tongues? So the manifestation of the Spirit has got to be real. It's got to be tangible. It's got to be a witness. But it doesn't have to be tongues. It's a great one. It helps the believer. In our days, it's so common again because it's breaking through all the encrustation of this non-transcendent closed system world we live in. It's for the manifestation of the Spirit healing. Wonderful manifestation of the Spirit. But to each one, Paul says, to each baptized Christian, to each one is given a manifestation of the Spirit. Therefore, something that is unmistakably of the Spirit.